Did you know that for certain individuals, having their billionaire's private island is not unusual? Naturally, we are discussing a group of extremely wealthy billionaires who own private island. Owning a private island is something very few people can even dream of. But some of the super rich not only own a slice of paradise, they've also managed to turn these exotic destinations into a lucrative business opportunity. These folks might do well to invest their money or just brighten their lives by purchasing a private island in Hawaii. However, private islands owned by billionaires' prices may be extraordinarily high, reaching up to $600 million for a single island. The most costly island, Lanai, has a price tag of almost $610 million. And this island isn't only one of Hawaii's greatest, it's also the most costly private islands owned by billionaires on the entire globe. Learn more from our top 10 most expensive private islands owned by billionaires in the world. We all want to enjoy life to the fullest to drive a luxury vehicle, occupy a large home, and enjoy all the comforts that it has to offer. What if you stepped it up and added one of the priciest luxury ships or the priciest island to your wish list? It is the ideal means of escaping to your own little hideaway, apart from the chaos of daily life. With pristine blue oceans on all sides, this paradise is the perfect place to retreat and collect your thoughts. You may want to take a much needed break and spend a few days alone, or you might elect to fly with your family for a brief get together. Owning your own billionaire's private island is a luxurious vacation destination in addition to being a great investment. So, which billionaires own some of the world's most expensive private islands? We have the list in this video, even if you're simply interested. Number 1. Lanai Island, owned by Larry Ellison. In Hawaii, Larry Ellison doesn't only own a house, he also owns a whole island. Oracle's millionaire founder chose to purchase the property in 2012 after visiting the isolated Hawaiian island of Lanai and falling in love with it. With a $300 million investment, he acquired 98% of the island, which has roughly 90,000 acres of land, a population of 3,200 people and two Four Seasons resorts. Tom Riolans, the general manager, gave Secret Lives of the Super Rich on CNBC a tour of the Four Seasons Resort Lanai. What it's like to stay at Ellison's five-star tropical retreat is described here. Visitors are given royal treatment here. You are alone on this island, Riolans explains. Everything one may want to do is right here for you to do. The hotel's multi-million dollar collection of Polynesian art gives visitors a taste of the local culture. As soon as they check in, a drop-down television, three luxurious bedrooms, ocean vistas, and custom parchment wall coverings are all included in the penthouse suite. It costs $21,000 a night making it the costliest hotel suite in all of Hawaii, according to Secret Lives of the Super Rich. A botanical garden of native plants and koi ponds outside lend whimsy and charm to the already lush surroundings. Number 2. New Holland Island, owned by Roman Abramovich. Before Roman Abramovich, a Russian business tycoon paid $400 million for the 18-acre island. New Holland Island in Russia's St. Petersburg Canal was a military facility. The island is named for the parts of Amsterdam that it resembles. The Triangle Island is currently up for renovation, and Roman Abramovich intends to transform it into a cultural hub. A bid for renovating this island has been issued to architects. In another six years, this island's new appearance is anticipated to be unveiled. The island of New Holland, which was established in the middle of St. Petersburg by Peter the Great in 1719, has witnessed the development of Russia's northern capital throughout history and, in its most recent incarnation, stands as a symbol of its future. The tender for the reconstruction of New Holland Island was won in 2010 by Milhouse LLC, a business controlled by Russian billionaire Roman Abramovich. Milhouse recruited the help of a variety of professionals from many cultural sectors to help in the rebuilding of this special island as a public place while working with the Iris Foundation, a nonprofit organization whose goal is to support and enhance modern culture and art. New Holland Island, which was designed as a city inside a city, recently welcomed visitors in its updated form. 
18th century structures with their classical facade restored now surround a lush park and lake, providing a peaceful respite in a busy area of the city. Number 3. Laukala Island Fiji, owned by Dietrich Mateschitz. Wild orchids, deserted white sandy beaches, and endless jungle are just a few of the South Pacific delights on Laukala, a seven-square-mile private island refuge turned resort owned by Austrian energy drink tycoon Dietrich Mateschitz. The billionaire co-founder of Red Bull bought the Fijian island from the estate of Malcolm Forbes in the early 2000s and has since created a tropical hideaway offering up unparalleled levels of luxury and privacy. Guests can stay at private Fijian-style villas nestled among coconut groves, ringed by the rainforest, or boasting unbroken views of the sea. Eat and imbibe at restaurants and bars, offering up everything from beachside barbecues to customized fine dining. Indulge in water sports, golf and horseback riding, and get up close and personal with the angelfish and coral reefs. Each villa comes with its own buggy for stress-free exploration. Number four, Scorpios Island, owned by Ekaterina Rybolovleva. Private island Scorpios, sometimes known as Scorpios, is located in the Ionian Sea, slightly east of the island of Lefkada, and off the western coast of Greece. A population of five people was recorded in the 2011 census. Administratively, it belongs to the Meganese municipality in the Lefkada regional unit. The island, which is 83.2 hectares, 205 acres in size, has a twisted shape with primary axes that are 1,500 meters and 1,000 meters apart. It is extensively wooded from south to north and has more than 200 different species of trees that Aristotle Onassis brought to the formerly sparsely populated island. A few of the beaches are sandy, most notably East Beach, which was built by Onassis using sand transported from Salamis Island. Three homes, a helipad, and a boat wharf are located there. Onassis also constructed port facilities on the bay's north shore for his boat, Christina O. The mountain that supplies the island's water is located on another adjacent island and is said to be worth roughly 100 million euros. Number five, Mushakai Islands. Owned by David Copperfield, a 700-acre privately owned island, Mushakai is part of the Exuma chain in the southern Bahamas. It lies 137 kilometers, 85 miles, southeast of Nassau. David Copperfield, an illusionist, is the owner of it. Musha Kay is surrounded by three smaller islands that protect the seclusion of its visitors. There can only ever be one party of visitors, which can have up to 24 people. Sergey Brin, a co-founder of Google, wed in May 2007 on Musha Kay. Musha Kay was designed by Howard Holtzman. The illusionist desired his own paradise in order to construct yet another magical playground. David Copperfield, a well-known magician, paid $50 million in 2005 for the Mushakai Islands, a collection of 11 tiny islets in the southern Bahamas. This tranquil island is situated in the zone which is home to the biggest group of private islands in the Bahamas. The island has been turned into a magical resort by the magician, complete with quests, treasure hunts, opulent villas, and water sports. This is all yours for a heavenly 32,250 per night. Billionaire-owned islands represent the epitome of luxury and exclusivity, offering their owners a one-of-a-key experience. Let's wrap up today's video, and if you found this video amazing, so make sure to like our video and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Thanks for watching.